everyone, welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another recipes video. Today I'm super excited because we are continuing to make more vegan snacks. Today's theme is going to be three ingredient vegan snack ideas. Yes guys, three ingredients only. It's gonna be super fun. I have some savory, some sweet, some fun things for you guys. So I hope you guys are excited. So today's video is very kindly sponsored by Almond Cow, which is right here in front of me. I got my lovely Almond Cow right here in front of me. It's beautiful. Okay, she's beautiful, I should say, okay? She is beautiful and she makes delicious plant-based milks. Yes guys. So if you guys haven't heard of the Almond Cow, it is this lovely device right here, okay? It is is a device that makes your own plant-based milks. So you can make your own plant-based milks at home using the almond cow. It is super awesome and I love it so, so much because not only does it help you save money, guys. Yes, you save money because you don't always have to go to the store and buy plant-based milks, which can be very expensive. So in the long run, you end up saving money if you like plant-based milks, if you like a lot of them. And it's so easy to use, okay? Like I've used this so many times already and it's so easy. All you have to do is take this out. There's a few little things here. You just fill this baby up with whatever you want. So I'm actually gonna be making, one of my recipes is going to be some plant-based milk. I'm actually gonna be making a coconut oat milk. So I have some coconut shreds here. I'm gonna add half of this in here. So I'm gonna fill this halfway with the coconut shreds. Okay. And then I'm actually gonna fill halfway with some oats. Okay, so it's gonna be a coconut oat milk, so delicious. And I mean, how often do you see a coconut oat milk in the store? So this also allows you to be more creative. You can make so many different types of milks with this lovely thing here. So you can mix and match your concoctions. You could do like a cashew oat, a cashew coconut, an almond oat, like whatever you want, you can mix it up, which is another reason why I love it so much. So I'm just gonna fill this baby up with water. I'll show you how easy it is to make this. I'm just gonna fill this up with water. Fill it up with water. I like to fill it up to the max line. And it's so great because, again, if you buy plant-based milk sometimes, they just add a lot of fillers and additives and just like questionable ingredients. And with this, you know exactly what is going in your plant-based milk. So that's another great thing. It's a lot healthier. It's a lot more wholesome. You know what I'm saying? So all we have to do once again, guys, is to just fill the filter basket with whatever you want. And then you just do this and then you close it, okay? It has a little thing here. Close it like so, okay? And then fill this up with water. I like to add a little bit of salt because I feel like it makes it last a little bit longer in the fridge. It's like a natural preservative, okay? Just a tiny bit of salt. You can also add in like vanilla extract. We can also add in a little bit of sugar if you want. So we just close it, guys. And then you press the cow start button, yes. guys so it runs through three cycles and then you just pop it open and it is so easy so you don't have to run to the store see how convenient it is as long as you've got your nuts or your oats or whatever available and you can just make your own plant-based milks at home and it's also super sustainable because you are saving yourself from buying a bunch of unnecessary packaging so that's another great thing and there is the lovely dairy free milk. And then the pulp is in here guys and never throw away the pulp because there are so many things you could do with the pulp which makes this also zero waste because you are not wasting anything. You use up the pulp, you can make cookies. That's my favorite thing to make and I'm gonna show you guys a really easy cookie recipe using the pulp right here. You can also make like, for example, like nut balls, like energy balls, you can do so, so much with the pulp. So do not throw it out. This is a zero waste recipe situation, okay? So I'm just gonna pour this in here. And as you can see, I don't have to strain anything, which makes this so much easier. I know that you can make your own plant-based milks using like a blender and stuff, but you have to strain it and I feel like it gets messy. It is definitely doable, but this just makes it a lot easier. So here we go. Here is our coconut oat milk, okay? I'm just gonna taste it. Mmm. Mmm, it's actually so good, okay? It is natural, it is good. You do have to shake it up, okay? Because it's natural, kind of likes to sit down. So when you sit it in the fridge, just make sure you give it a nice shake. And there you go, that's how easy it is to make your own plant-based milk. This one is a coconut oat milk. I love this mixture. I think the last few times I made a non-dairy milk, I did this mixture and I really like it. So yeah, if you guys want to grab yourself your own 
almond cow. You can get $15 off your order using my code CheapLazyVegan15. It is all down below in the description box for you. The link plus the code is in the description box, so don't forget to check that out. Click that link and use my code and get $15 off. Trust me, guys, it is so worth it. I love this so much. It's just so convenient. And if you love plant-based milks, you might as well grab one of these. Anyway, thank you so much to Almond Cow for sponsoring today's video. I'm actually gonna show you how to make some cookies, some delicious cookies, by the way, using this lovely pulp that is in here. So I'll just show you actually. This is the pulp. How amazing, right? And it squeezes it out pretty good, you know? So I usually like, after I make this, I usually like keep it in the fridge maybe for a couple days until I'm ready to make something out of it or I make something right away. So today I'm gonna make something right away with this pulp. And I feel like the recipe I'm gonna show you, you can use it with whatever pulp. I haven't tried it with everything, but the pulp is pretty, you know, standard. It looks like standard pulp. Let's get into the recipes. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, let's make three ingredient pulp cookies. These are so good. So we're gonna take that leftover pulp, which makes about one cup, and we're gonna add it into a mixing bowl along with one third cup of peanut butter. So you can use any other nut butter of your choice. I think peanut butter tastes the best, so that's why I'm using it. And our third ingredient is going to be one tablespoon of sugar, and then we're just gonna mix this well. And this is the batter. Three ingredients, guys, so simple and so easy. And now we're gonna take a baking sheet and we're gonna line it and then we're just gonna scoop out the cookies. And I like to use like a little tablespoon and just wet it so that it's easy to scoop out. And then all you have to do is bake these at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for around 13 to 15 minutes. They will be pretty soft when you take them out, but they will firm up a little bit after you cool them down. And this is what they look like. They keep in the fridge pretty well for a few days, so enjoy them throughout the week. They are so easy and they're actually really, really delicious. So I hope you guys try these out. Next, we're gonna jump into our next three ingredient recipe. We are gonna add in three cups of puffed wheat into a large mixing bowl, and we're gonna make some peanut butter and chocolate puff wheat squares. These are so good, you guys. Yes, we're using peanut butter again because peanut butter is the best, okay? Once we have those puff wheat squares in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna take a smaller microwave-friendly bowl, and we're gonna add in our peanut butter and our vegan-friendly chocolate chips. And then we're just going to heat this up in the microwave just until the chocolate chips have melted. And now we can pour in that delicious concoction. Oh my God, you guys, peanut butter and chocolate together is like a match made in heaven, okay? So now that you have these three ingredients just making love in the bowl, we're gonna make sure that every single piece of puffed wheat is covered. And now I'm just going to take a, this is just a cake pan, pie pan, whatever you have, okay? Just pour your mixture in, kind of pack it down a little bit and put it into the fridge. I like to keep it in the fridge for like at least 30 minutes, probably longer if you can. And then there you go. I didn't keep mine long enough, I think. I think it could have firmed up a little bit more, but it doesn't really matter. You can have it in little, you know, broken up pieces. It's still just as tasty. So yeah, just chop it up and they're ready to eat. They're so good. They keep in the fridge again for a few days. So just eat them throughout the week as a very delicious snack. So this next snack idea is going to be a very lazy snack. This is something you can make if you're like, I literally have nothing to eat. I don't know what to eat. I'm bored. Okay, we're gonna make some stuffed banana cinnamon pita pieces. I don't know what to call this, but basically we're taking one piece of pita bread and then we're taking one banana. You can use a fresh ripe banana and just mash it. Or if you just have a frozen banana in your freezer, which is what I did, just thaw it out or microwave it and then just like take out the excess water and just mash it. And then we just add Add one teaspoon of cinnamon and then just mix it and now we have this like banana cinnamon concoction and then just spread it into the pita pocket and this kind of reminds me of korean snack it's called hot dog which is like a stuffed korean pancake and of course hot dog is much more tasty than this but <laughs> this is healthier and it's obviously a lot easier because you're lazy okay feel free to add like brown sugar and stuff as well into this concoction i like to toast it on each side until it's nice and browned and then you can just cut it up if you want or just eat it straight up so this is just a really lazy banana cinnamon snack it's really tasty and i just put a little bit extra cinnamon on top right here and there you go so easy guys 
All right, guys, last but not least, we're going to make three ingredient cauliflower wings. Yes, my friends. So into a bowl, we're going to add in a quarter cup of flour and a quarter cup and two tablespoons of water and a generous amount of salt. FYI, I don't count water or salt as ingredients, even though they are ingredients, but like, you know what I mean. So we just want to whisk this really well until it's nice and smooth and that's our batter. And then into the batter, we're going to add in half a head of cauliflower that we've chopped up into little bite-sized pieces. And we're going to coat this really well. And then we're going to take one cup of breadcrumbs and then we're just going to coat our battered cauliflower wings into the breadcrumbs so that we can make that nice crispy layer on the outside. And I decided to air fry my cauliflower wings. So make sure they are not touching each other. You lay them out and then I air fried at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes. And you can flip them halfway if you'd like. And of course, if you don't have an air fryer, you can always use an oven. I would probably do 375 degrees and probably a little bit longer, maybe 30 to 35 minutes, flipping them halfway. And those are your cauliflower wings. That's basically your base. So this recipe is a little bit of a cheat because I am gonna use a sauce after Afterwards, and the sauce is going to be buffalo sauce so I just used Frank's red hot sauce to toss the cauliflower wings after they were done and of course you can feel free to use teriyaki sauce and whatever sauce of your choice and there you go that is how easy it is to make cauliflower wings all right you guys so those were my three ingredient vegan snack ideas let me know down below what your thoughts are and of course guys all the recipes will be in a blog post down below so don't forget to check that out and once again thank you so much to almond cow for sponsoring today's video do not forget to check out almond cow and get that $15 off using my code cheap lazy vegan 15 once again that link is down below and thank you guys so much for watching if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed this video Give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!